All right, we'll be showing you on how to build an e-commerce website. We'll build a website like this for you. You will follow it up under 30 minutes and it's going to be wonderful. The website allow you to sell online like men wears, women wears, any kind of item, gadget. It's called e-commerce website. We're also going to show you how to build a multi-vendor website. A multi-vendor website like that of Amazon. Amazon where people can sell on your platform they can have shop online you say they sell whenever they sell any item you get a percentage so like also Jumia so people will sell and you get a percentage like 20 percent 10 percent or five percent so you'll be making money online the website we also have about which is about your history exactly this design we also have a contact page the contact will be your information, how people can apply, subscribe, and we're also going to create a multi-vendor account for you. So to start this website, you need two things from your end. You need a domain. A domain is your name. You need to buy that name. Is your website name or your brand name like Jumia, Amazon, Conga, Samsung, they are all names. And secondly, you need a host a host is like a land when you want to build a house you must buy a land am i right so when you buy a land then you build on it the building is the design which is the website you want to design and you design with elementor and wordpress so we'll, i'll take you to a site where you can buy one of the best sites where you can get a host and a domain and it's called nameship nameship is the best they have 24 hour support guidance their website is fast it's an american post so you they say names like domain and post they also say ready build website but this one you will build your website by yourself and design it to be better than so we'll go to nameship.com you have to create an account with nameship so you have a dashboard with nameship so we'll go to nameship.com you go to sign up and so we'll click sign up Sign up is for you to create an account today. So this is how you create an account. On this account, you apply your username and create your password. So this is my password. Um, so I'll put my name, your personal name. So you put your personal name. Your personal name might be different from your username, whatever you want to use. Then you insert your email. So I put in my email, I click yes, create an account. So I'll create account, then save. Always click save and save. So right now it will take me to the dashboard. This is the dashboard. This is where from here you can go to your website, do any other thing, complete a lot of stuff, but we'll come here and give you a breakdown. You can see even every host website that does this, you know, sign up with them. So I want to go to domain, I'll just look for domain search from my dashboard they've already sent you an email already you see an email you can log in from the email so what i do i click search and uh, this search result will show you if the name is available like this name is avail available but it's on premium that is very expensive so i'll just click it i'll choose another name this one is available ten dollar ten point two uh, twenty eight cent so you can select a name you see dot org dot boot they are all different price dot net dot net is like eleven dollar dot org is like seven dollar so you determine the name you want but the best name is dot com but i'm just showing you if you say you want to go into dot tech dot tech is about dot art is about two dollar dot online is like free dot online dot com dot online is free so i'll just go for the free one but for you that is buying this one is like zero dollar but you that is buying kindly go for dot com so that your site will be more valuable so they will show you all these different icon please don't click this it will complicate your buying you might not get the appropriate and uh, stuff you want to buy but right now you need to buy it so come here and click host click a share host Share host is the best when you click the share host and um, it will take you back. So this is their price for the host, like I told you, the land which you want to build on. 
so they have one dollar they have two dollar monthly but you buy a year it's not you don't pay per month now this is uh, one dollar monthly allow you to create a theory email uh, theory website 20 gig rams and 30 email customized email why two dollar allow you to build unlimited do, uh, website but the two dollar is times 12 the one dollar is times 12 so let's check in nigeria website ugo host nigeria one is ugo host see the price tag and see the price difference so this is ugo host which is a nigeria website and uh, the domain is 16,000 naira this is just a domain.com but they show you are available if you are buying dot online dot online is free at that side of a year it's 3,500 10,000 dot is 10,000 per year and uh you can see all that dot org is six thousand dot africa fifteen thousand dot store seven thousand so we check that host and we are going to compare both price and you see which one is cheaper for you if you have to get a dollar you mean you have to get a dollar prepaid account and transform your money a dollar is like one thousand two hundred so you just click wordpress posting you see their host they are telling you that they are only six five per month so six five times twelve we give you this all right uh one year for name ship is a uh, 23 dollar that is if you are just buying a host without a domain which is approximate host and domain is forty thousand eight hundred. you convert it which is nine uh, one thousand two hundred times 33 then if you are buying a dom if you are doing without a domain just say host it is two it is twenty eight thousand eight hundred then if it is nigeria one year google host just a host seventy eight thousand then with a domain a domain is sixteen thousand giving ninety four thousand you see why you should go for a foreign host and it is the best so for me i love working with mainship it's faster and it's cheaper you just have to convert your money to dollar and a dollar is one two per dollar Thank you. Okay, I'll prefer Nameship. Click Get Started. So it will take you to here. You will see your already added domain. And uh, you don't need to add a new domain. Then your host is $22. The domain is free. You know, we're just doing an example. But if you bought the total price, so you just be add to cart. So it will add to cart. And you add to cart, it will show you that. Are you sure you want to buy the stuff? you see the things you want to buy you click confirm order so once you click confirm order it will just show you a form so you just fill in this form which is your username any online stuff you're buying will show you this so you can add your company name the job title your address your PD address and uh, after typing yeah, I will just put a ship in the notes you know, this is an example then city data states city asaba the data state the zip code you can browse zip code of anywhere you are like asaba zip code which is delta is two two is three two zero one zero so i just look for my my nigeria country is uh two three four so just put a contact then email and click on continue so this next staff is where you insert your your credit card so the name of the credit card your credit card number the uh, production date and expire date then a four figure at the back of your credit card and it must be a dollar please it must be a dollar so once you're done just click continue it will deduct the payment and you will receive a mail so click automatic and click save card you must click save card so once you click safeguard, click continue, the payment will be done. You receive a mail of confirmation. First mail, the second mail will be welcome to main ship. So this welcome to main ship, you will scroll down. When you scroll down, you will see your C panel login. They call the C panel login. So this is like your email. Just click it, or you can sign up to C panel. So once you sign up to C panel, it will take you to where you will start building. Your website and you can see sign to see panel from Nameship direct. So I'll go back to my Nameship. Just scroll to host. 
then go to the site you want to go there click C panel go to C panel it just take me to C panel on your C panel click spectacular app and you go to on spectacular click uh, <coughs> WordPress you install your WordPress then fill in your details that here now the name of your site dot com that's what you're going to do over here then you come here description of your site just for the description then on this WPN and then you come in your your name which is username then here, uh, here is the password you can put a password so I'll put a password then here I'll put an email which would be the admin email you can put gmail.com whatever but I'll put the site in the I take backup then I'll put an email this email is where they will send details to after you've created the login. Then remember to click this uh, WPC panel place you want to put in. I try to install it now. Say the password is not complete, so I'm going to set the password. Once I'm done, I click install. Then on install, I'll just click here. This interface it will take me to my site. Once it takes me to my site, this is the dashboard of the site. So I can just drop it on my page so it's for easily on my desktop so I can log in. So I'll go to plugins, see the plugins, uh, what you have to do here. Uh, you can deactivate the plugins, so but I'll go to my team. So this is the team. Uh, we come here and go to another team, then add new team. So then you see different kind of teams all these teams are already made site if you click it it will just design your site for you all you have to do is upload your pictures and put your name and edit it to your taste but the funniest thing is that you cannot rechange the design because these teams are not elemental uh, these teams are already built and they are slow the secondly so you comes to ask but I'll go for Astra it's so the Astra Astra is the best play the best uh, template then for me after I start Astra I'll go back to my site now because I instruct I've downloaded the team so then I'll go to appearance I'll click team then I will activate the Astra team so to show me and once it showed me the Astra team, you see install starter template, you install the starter template, then this template will load and show you the click elementor. Once you click elementor, it will take you to different site where you see different interface. And uh, this interface they are awesome. Any of the sites you need, you just pick it and install it. But uh, I think we will go for the uh, E market templates all these are free. all these are already built site anyone you want to click but don't click premium if you click premium you have to buy it premiums are approximately 250 dollar the way built site or 100 dollar then you screw down you screw down currently we want to build an e-commerce website so we will decide to choose this template we'll go for brand store this has already done. Press continue. Here is the color where you want to change your color, but you can still change the color later. But if you want the official website, then here are your you fill in your names. Once you fill your names, you add your email, put your email, then uh, you come here, say beginner, build inside of my client, click agreement, and just uh, let me just put an email then I'll just say build my site and my name build my site is generating so once this is hundred percent it's going to show you a congratulations message this is your site view your website and this is your website you just created an e-commerce website so you scroll around the website so if you want to do anything on the website this is your about the battles page contact us page you go back you click contact so you've already built this contact us page you just build a website so how can you edit this website to your own change your picture your write-up then here is your categories your categories your price categories the system has already created all this stuff for you you can check men check women 
now it's for we then when you click your logo it take it back to the site so how to edit the site click edit to elementor any of the page you are is the page you want to edit so first of all close this navigation when you close the navigation and uh, you just scroll down and uh, this when you click view on this uh, laptop it show you your size of of our site which is mobile friendly then here you click this icon click this place if you want to edit it then change it to your own write up this is how you edit it edit your write up then later we are still going to show you how you can add this on your own so the next thing i want to change your own uh, but i want to work with uh, ai so i click the ai so click the ai once you click the ai uh, you want to generate an AI so this will generate officially for you I just click generate with AI because I want AI to write for me I just copy and paste it there so this is it determine how you want your length so the next is we we'll delete this icon and uh, we we'll just drag and put the title and write anything you want but for me, I think I literally don't need it, so I might delete it. To delete it, just click this icon here, left click and delete it. Then now I want to change the image. So I'll come to the image and uh, select my image. Maybe I want to put a video link. I just go to YouTube, copy the video link and paste it. So you see a video. But for me, I think this is literally fine, but it will be seizing your site. So the next thing that I want to change is so I go back to my image, I click this image, and uh, upload image of my size that will fit it. So I'll go up with this image, and this is fantastic. This is how you can change your image on your site top profile. So here we got a new image. Voila. So we click update. Once you click update, and I'll go back to see my site and just scroll down. This is the site. 